Hello guys, it's Nicholas speaking. Today we are going to create a contact form using one of the most popular plugins for WordPress. It's called the WP Forms. With that, you will get an ugly form like this one here. Of course, you want to make it beautiful. You don't have the Elementor Pro, you have just the free Elementor version, or you are working with Gutenberg. What then, you may ask? Let's use a little bit of CSS and create this. This is the stylized contact form with rounded edges, change the font, font color for labels and so on. And button of course. And for background we have one little gradient between orange and red orange shade. I don't know. First part of this tutorial. In first part we are going to create the form inside WP Forms plugin. And in the next one I'm going to explain you which CSS properties and values I have used. Okay, before we start, subscribe, leave a comment for this video and don't forget to click on the bell. Let's go. Okay, guys, let's go and see, let's go in the dashboard of our website, actually. We are, uh, for now, we are an, in the Edward, uh website. If you want to know how you can create the complete website in WordPress, check this link here. Okay, now let's click here on WP Forms. And then I also created the one form with ID of 394, but this information is completely irrelevant for this moment. Click here and add new. Type the name of your form and click on create blank form. Okay. Now I'm going to move this tab on my second screen. And here, first, let's add the single, not the single line, the name. Here, type, or, or let's copy this text. Leave the field required change the width of column to be one column, set in advanced options, set field size large, and this is, the, this is it for the first query or input. The second input will be the phone number, but in the free version, we don't have that option. I think here is phone, yeah. We don't have that for the free version. So let's add the another single line text module. And here, type the label. Of course, change the field size to be large. Second one is the email, this one. Okay, this uh, already, this is the required field. And just set the field size to be large. And uh, how would you like to contact you in this part here? We need, what we need? We need the checkbox module. Click here. Okay, delete one. Yes. And then let's copy this text for the label. First choice will be call and second will be email. Delete the third choice. Okay. And this is fine. We don't need a required star for that field. And last field will be the paragraph text. Here you can add this line of text. Can you tell us a bit of what you are looking for. We need a required star sign and in advanced field, field size will be large. Or you can set to be the medium, but I'm going to choose the large, okay? And of course, we have the placeholder text. Even just, I'm going to speed up that. Okay, and now click here on save. 
in the next step we are going to add our form to the page so let's go outside go on pages and for example let's create new page we are going to call it contact2 in astra settings let's exclude the sidebar the title and the content layout will be full with stretch okay click on publish and now we are going to view our page click here to edit okay for that kind of layout we need to add the smart columns from this UAG templates plugin so click here on to add a new block click on advanced columns choose this one and for the width of this column I'm going to I think this is the 50% is okay the 50% for central one and two times 25 for the letter ones okay click here on plus and there type or click on WP forms and check our contact to form. Okay, now click on update and click on view page. Now we are going to add our CSS. Let's go and click to customize. And here let's paste our code. This is the first block and we need to change to find the proper ID for this form. Click on inspect, right click and inspect. This is the inspect tool for every browser. Now I'm using the Mozilla Firefox. For example, click here and down there, let's find the ID for our forms. And this is for Two, three. Let's go up, and this is our division with this ID. So let's change the ID, and we have the background and padding for all sides and border radius for rounded corners. Okay, I have created this gradient background with online tool. You can mix your own colors or put one one color whatever you want okay next block of code is that for is for border radius for this actually for this rounded edges and background color we can remove this line and just add the border radius let me show you this is our input field with class of WP forms field large. We have added this class when we created the form. Okay, now let's add the next block. Here, change the number. Now we have targeted WP forms field label. Let me show you. And this uh, netpad field, we targeted the label, and this is our class. When you have multiple forms on your pages, you must specify the form ID before this class. Font family is Montserrat, font weight, color, and margin bottom. Also, it is very important to install the child theme for your theme. Here I'm using the Astra. For example, if you have, if you are, if you are using the Ocean WP team, I have one tutorial about it, how you can install the child team for that team. Actually, I will put link in the description. Now let's add, let's change the position for these two elements. Okay, four, five, three, and we need to to target this field. To change this that field actually click here you see that ID for previous form 
the ID for that URL is the field 5 and now we need 4 and also we need to change that ID you see and next block now let's change this ID I have added the margin left for this element here. Let's change the color for call and email. And field 4. Also, we need to change require uh, the color for the star sign for required labels. Sorry. Now it is black color and we need to change WP forms error message. Let me show you. Oh, I didn't add that in our form builder. Let's go on WP forms. And here for this checkbox down there in advanced options, let's choose the limit one. Click on C in customizer not that one, this one actually, click on publish to save our work, refresh our page. And now when you select the these two options, I, need, I want to change the color for that text. So let's use the inspect tool and we have WP form field label class. Not that we, sorry, this. Here we have WP forms dash error class. Here I change the font color. I add the border and padding left. Okay. And the last thing I want to change the, this button style for this button actually. Let's copy, you see, and hover state. Here I change, I add the border radius display block with 100 of this, 100% of this container, and I change the background. Okay, now click on publish. Let's go on our page. And this is our form actually. Now let's change the responsiveness. I'm going to show you a little bit of tweaking for that. Now we are at the 507 pixels in width. Let's shrink down a little bit. Let's see what's going on. So for that, for example, you, you can change this padding of 50 pixels for all four sizes. Let's go do that. Let's add the media query. For 500 pixels, that means that when you are on the screen sizes less than 500 pixels, these rules will be applied. So let's copy that and I'm going to delete everything except the except everything but padding no. And let's change this padding for example 20 pixel. So let's publish and on this page let's click on refresh and now we have more space for our form. You see, this is the, we have on 501 pixel, we have 50 pixels here, there, and there, and here, of course. When we go two pixels below, we have 
20 pixels padding here. Okay, let's shrink down to 320 pixel. I think this is the, the smallest bit and everything is fine. Okay, guys, this is all for today's video. Before the end, subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, write down in the comments. Don't forget to smash the bell. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.